on the feet, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Carmen allegedly lied about having Corey in the hotel. Look at it. And has finally spoken out about this whole situation with her allegedly sharing the same hotel room as Corey. Now, as I stated previously, a lot of people were stating that Carmen and Corey were actually not sharing a room, that Corey actually booked that room on his own to make it look like he was in a room with Carmen. Now, Carmen did speak out about this on her recent video on YouTube. I'm gonna briefly break down what was stated by Carmen. Now, she started off by stating that people are thinking that she's back in a relationship with Corey because Corey has been trolling everyone, stating that they are back together, and that since she's not speaking on it, it's making it seem like she's guilty of actually getting back with Corey when she would never stoop that low. Now, then she went into detail on this whole hotel situation. Now, this is what Carmen stated. Now, apparently Carmen was in the hotel with people from her management team and an old bodyguard walked up or supposed to be bodyguard walked up and actually spoke to Carmen. Now at this point, Carmen could see the guy off on the phone, going around the corner, talking to someone. She thinks that he was talking to Corey. So then she states later on that day, she actually saw Corey in the hotel lobby. Now mind you, Corey was in Alabama. Alabama is only two hours away from Atlanta. Now, Carmen stated this in her video and she did turn off the comments on that video because people were not actually believing what Carmen was stating. They were saying that the story isn't adding up. Now on TikTok, people were stating Carmen lying. She effing with ugly again. Someone else states, I don't know what to believe. Again, I'm confused. Someone else says, girl, stop lying. The story isn't adding up. Now a lot of people are- No need to be confused. The shit is kept. Are confused, but Corey went on to Instagram again today after he decided to go out to Houston Houston just to get a haircut and this is what he had to say I mean it's only right that I get on here and really just address my supporters you know hey I'm gonna say this man you know I fuck with y'all the long way I love y'all you know at the end of the day you know what I'm saying I run this shit like this is my turf so he I got the, I got the, I got to get these haters what they asking for you know what I'm saying I gotta get them entertainment I gotta I gotta keep them watching I gotta keep them focused <laughs> because at the end of the day the real ones is gonna be here Shout out to y'all once again. But yeah, you know. Now, Corey moment. has not stated that he was in that hotel room with Carmen. What was, He's just posting what, little subliminals. What was so at this point, I'm confused as well. I don't know what to believe if Carmen is telling the truth or not. But Michi's cousin Prime did make a valid statement. If they were actually in that same room together, wouldn't Corey have posted a photo or video of Carmen actually in the room and not just him in the room could be photoshopped like a motherfucker y'all i'm gonna just go ahead and keep it a buck um he probably did book a room in the same hotel cool this and the third but you know what i'm saying like i don't think they was in the same room i'm gonna say this because <clears throat> you know what's so messed up with these youtubers is nobody believes shit they say because they done played too many fake games Especially Carmen and Corey. Carmen, I mean, Corey will throw a white flag on a play so fast, bro. The play is running. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we about to do um, the boot you play. You, all you got to do is run to the left. Got down, make sure you got down, uh, keep, it, keep it cute on the right. Boom, we got the touchdown. This nigga, as soon as he go to the left, he throwing a flag on the play because... He doesn't want to look a certain way, feel a certain... Whatever, okay? I ain't saying Corey ain't that type of nigga to not go book a hotel room. I ain't saying that. But I just feel like... I feel like she's lying. Carmen is not a good storyteller. And don't get me wrong, Corey... When Corey is lied on, he do come out and be like, man, that, that, that girl don't quit lying, he would say that. I don't know if he said that or not, um, but him and Michi are really battling for Corey's wife right now. And I will say outside of all of that, 
that bag being in there is just what gave it away. I don't believe her at all. Like, when I talk to men, you know, sometimes they be like, you know, saying little stuff about they women or whatever. I be like, she lying. She lying. Like, how you know? Bitch, I'm a woman, regardless of what y'all think, because I like y'all clothes, whatever. I was born with one, okay? And a set of boobs that's ultra big that I cannot stand. However, comma, um, she lying. Like, you know when a woman is lying, like men know when niggas is lying. Niggas be like, brother, he lying. I'm telling you right now, he lying. <laughs> I be like, damn, I didn't, what gave it away? I, I didn't think he was lying. Lying. Y'all, she lying. <laughs> Why is that makeup bag in that bathroom? Now, bet, he can get a hotel room. He can. He can get a phone call that she's in that hotel room. He can. Uh, that makeup bag. Can he go get, can he afford to? Sure. But is he going to go to the lengths of going to get the same makeup bag? I don't believe her. Because she could be completely telling the truth. I don't believe her. <laughs> uh, Y'all already know, like, they were in the same room together. He would have He would have definitely got a pic of her in the room for real, for real, off art. Like on some and I, I can't disagree with that either because that nigga is such a I got my wife back right now. He's in I got my wife back mode. That's true. But I still <laughs> I don't believe him. Like, yeah, like I'm with I'm with I'm with my bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he would have did that. Like I think this is like Either A, photoshopped, or B, he done got a room in the same hotel, which is probably the case, and then photoshopped the bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be doing a lot of shit, bro. I, I, I don't know. I'm not no oblivious ass nigga, and I ain't no fool. You know, I keep it real. I keep it chill with y'all on this shit every time, and I keep it straight, bro. I ain't... I ain't no fool, bro. I, I already don't. I genuinely don't think they was in the same room together. What? Like, no, even Somebody if, just said, you know, there's a Twitter thread I can access right now that add and remove items from people's pictures. And don't get me wrong. Nah. Shit like that happened. Nah, I ain't saying. Y'all, I told y'all somebody had fraudulent text messages from my phone. This was years ago. From my phone, in her phone, as if I texted her from her from my number. I still don't know how she did that, but that was years. This was like 10 years ago, I feel like, maybe seven. How she could do that then, who knows? So I know the links that they go to through or to today is crazy. It depends on also who posted it first. Did Carmen post it first or was it Corey? If Carmen posted it first, now we might have an argument here. Who posted it first? That's what I need to know. Corey posted it first. Well, that, that, okay, somebody's saying Carmen. Y'all don't know who posted it first. If she posted it first, it is a possibility for him to take whatever's in that background and put it in his background, period. T-Room said he did. Then, if he posted it first, that wouldn't make sense. And if I was Carmen, I wouldn't even post it. If you're trying to hide some shit. But granted, she's acting like she ain't trying to hide nothing. I don't know. I don't believe shit these YouTubers say today. Nothing. Nothing. They done got me on a couple occasions. I, oh, this shit was fake. <laughs> so I don't believe nothing. I don't know who did it. I don't give a fuck. Let's just continue going. That's the bag or whatever. I don't think they was in the same room together. I ain't gonna hold you. And I ain't just taking sides on none of that shit. I just, I don't believe that it was in the same room. Uh, I just think bro just trolling to the maximum. He liked the attention that's, you know, 
Oh. Like, he like the attention. Like, he know what he doing. He posting her every other day and stuff like that from what it seems to be. So, it's not far-fetched that a nigga would use Photoshop to make it seem like he in a shame shower room or shame bath. And I agree with that. I will say this, too. Corey is not about to lose this battle. Any nigga that come along for Carmen, you better hide him. Okay? Soon as she brought Michi to the public, it was going to be an issue. Because she's still married. <laughs> come on, y'all. She's still married. So it's just kind of like she's going to take a L every time if she don't play her cards right and if she don't have a secure man. Now, I'm not saying Michi's not secure and all that. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying... Um, it, 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 I don't know why it was so easy for him to believe that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he was calling her that night, like I said. When a woman don't answer the phone, feminine woman don't answer the phone, bro, that is the worst thing for a masculine woman and a man. I'm going to tell you all that right now. She could be at home. What? Be uh... <laughs> What the fuck was you doing? I mean, she at home, kids at home, everything. And you still think she sucking a dick at the crib. It's just, it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. But that's all I'm I don't know if she called him that night, didn't pick up the phone. And he like, yo, what the fuck was you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it seems Michi doesn't live in Atlanta anymore, which I guess that's, that's, he wasn't even in Atlanta. He don't even live in Atlanta. He lives in Houston, I'm assuming. I don't know. Okay? So, I don't know. From whatever the case may be, I'm just keeping it real. So, you guys leave your opinions on this situation down in the comment section below. If you guys did check out Carmen's video, did you feel like she was telling the truth in that video? Again, she did turn those comments off because people were coming for her. They weren't believing her. They were I stating agree, that things aren't making sense. But again, what Prime stated did make a lot of sense. Like, why didn't Corey post any photos of Carmen actually with him? But then again, knowing Corey, he could be holding off on posting those photos or or. Carmen told him not to post her. <clears throat> Carmen might have been like, nigga, don't post me. Okay? This is a mystery, and it's a mystery because she's a terrible liar, and Corey is just a conniving nigga. I mean, he does conniving things. Um, Corey is just not the type to take a L. You know, he's not an L-taking guy. So... He does conniving things to not take these L's as I have videos if he do have them. But again, I want your opinions down below. Are you guys believing Carmen? You going with Corey on this one. But let's move on to this next topic with Aaliyah's face. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with her vlogs, what? she recently posted a video that she is living in London sort of now people who were is? quite confused on who she was actually in london with especially after she stated she's kind of been there since december lavender flavored I got, we got this at like the who is? like a market now, if you guys remember and no disrespect if you see this girl I, I just don't i don't i've never seen her before i'm just asking a question you know these youtube is sensitive girl that's why i don't like reacting to them <laughs> But um, I, I don't know who Shouty is. She has been very secretive about who she's been dating. Now, her ex-boyfriend came out before and exposed her for actually dating Maybe this we know the guy. married guy that was in Atlanta. But it seems like she <sighs> broke things off with him and she has moved on to a new London boo. Now, London boo is mm -hmm. allegedly a lawyer and he also flies planes. UK weather's been crazy. And also I've been traveling a lot. Been excited to be back at the airfield today. Back in the skies, even though the cloud cover is still horrible. It's still grim I would day, not get in that plane. 
it's <laughs> high enough at 1200 feet. One, 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 just one, about to do some circuits. Today we're doing a little flight in Charlie Charlie. Started to be back in the air and dust off these cobwebs. Yeah, yeah. Who is this man? Okay. Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, she made sure that was eight minutes. Um, don't know who that man is. You know, we need our eight minutes, so shout out to the tea room. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Carmen and Corey, um, they're always a mystery because they just have always been bad actors since day one. Bad prankers, bad actors, especially Corey. He at the top of the list. He just he always gave it away. He's he he gives it away. I don't know though with this. And Carmen's just not a good liar. So I I don't know. Um, at least on the internet. I don't know these people. I don't live with these people. They are not my friends. I'm not saying I know them behind the camera. You know, I gotta give these type of disclaimers because y'all mean y'all feelings. But I'm just saying as far as what we've seen on the internet. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey yeah.